all right guys this is the final episode of season five and we're going straight into the the matches right now we all right so the first match we're going to play is obviously going to be this one against real madrid and i think that on the 10th we get to see the uefa team of the year and i hope that a bunch of my players are going to be in that because we did really really well last season we got the double and in this episode we're hoping to get a treble in this match so uh, we could and we already got the super cup the, the UEFA Super Cup, and if we get the Super Copa, which is coming up pretty soon, then we should be able to get a treble along with. I mean, we haven't won the Copa de Rey yet because we always keep on getting the fuck out of that competition due to the simulation fucking me up a lot of times. I mean, it, have, it has happened every single season from the first, and now we have the match against Real Madrid. But let's see if that UEFA Team of the Year thing is is here already. So. All right, news. Um, Correa's face Real Madrid challenge. Okay, we do not have that. That sucks. Okay, I, I will try team of the year midfielder. Oh, this is for midfielder. So I I'm not sure when the main thing is coming out. Oh, January 13. Okay, it's, it's on the 13th of January. That's when the main thing is coming out. I, I mean, it's not really that important. I just always like looking at it. I didn't look at it last last season and the, the prior seasons because. Um, wait, what? I didn't look at it last season and the prior seasons because, um, what the fuck was I saying? Uh, because, yeah, the team didn't really, um, do well enough for me to expect them to be in it. So, we have, um, youth, youth player from Spain and, yeah, it has, it has been really disappointing to be honest, but I mean, I think it's only, oh! 58 to 78 overall, so his overall should be like 60, like maybe mid 60s or something, probably. And his potential is crazy. And this guy's potential too is really good, but uh, his his rating is not is not all that. So we are going to Argentina. Still don't have anybody. I think we got like one person from Argentina in the last episode. I'm not really sure, but I feel like we did. I can't remember. And I mean that guy was relatively okay, but nah. All right, what the hell am I doing? Okay, so Nigeria, that's the last one. We still haven't gotten anybody from Nigeria yet. Like, we still haven't gotten anybody from Nigeria. That's so disappointing. And we are almost done with the season. I mean, at least just one person. I will need, like, just one person, legit. And I will not bother about anything else. Yantin loan offer. I think this one is already, is already long gone. Yeah, so no loan, ever, loan, uh, no loan for Yantin. Um... Risk of losing six players. I saw that there, but I will look at that in a bit. So we have the Real Madrid match to play. I'm mean, not playing the full match. I'm playing the playable highlights. And let me look at what the squad looks like. All right. So I'm, I'm using this formation, the um, four four two diamond. I think that's it. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what formation. Oh, four one two one two narrow. I mean, it was right there. I don't know why I didn't see it, but whatever. Uh, skip and play match and. Yeah, just got to change the kits a little bit. Yeah, I'll go with the away jersey this time. And playable highlights. Alright, so we're going up against Real Madrid. This is going to be tough. I mean, we've beaten them, I think, every time since last time we lost. <laughs> which was like two, two seasons ago. So I feel like we have their number. Did we win them last episode though? I honestly cannot remember, but, but we should have, we should have. But anyway, we are the Santiago Bernabeu, and I mean, it does not get easier when when we're freaking playing um, at their own stadium, because I mean, I, I, I still believe, you know, that there's kind of a home buff um, in the... Sorry about this, I always keep forgetting to change this back. Yeah, anyway, I still believe there's a home buff in the in home stadiums and stuff. Although it's not really that much of a difference though, but I just feel like they would play better, especially with the simulations and, and, and that. So we're starting now and let's see what happens. Alright, so we have the first attack in the fourth minute. And there's James in the box. And I think I, th I think I'll go for Pedri here. And let's see. Okay, so what the fuck was that? Do we still have it? Yes, we do, definitely. Give it to German. Alright. 
Ah, crap. We just were able to make the pass very, very well. But now we have a nightmare to fucking defend. We have Vinicius running straight to our post. I mean, this might just be... Oh. Oh. What the hell? Come on, we got that. Alright, Vario, just chill a little bit. They go back. Thank you, Zaratro, for that. And Fonseca, good job. Alright, so we should have the next. Come on, can I can I stop getting fucking corners? Like for real. Alright, so I'm going I'm I'm going long this time around. Uh can James get on this? Oh shit. And now they have a fucking penalty. Vinicius is on it. Crap. Alright, what what do we have here? Left, right, left, right, left, right. Fuck. <sighs> All right, so they're one one goal up, and they have come on. Can we have like a, an attack or something? Like what the hell? All right, good from the guys. All right, finally we have some sort of an attack, and I feel like Fonseca might just be able to get around this defender if the game does not fuck me up, though. All right, come on. I mean that. That was bullshit. That was fucking bullshit, man. I mean, they don't give me time to do anything. I mean, they're not supposed to, though. But, alright, good from Zaracho there. And, alright, so we have a good attack. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at German, but I'm not sure if I will be able to take that pass. Alright, I, I already fucked up. I already fucked up. Damn, this, this guy is such a fucking giant. Fucking hell. Alright, so we lost against Real Madrid after all our talk of, of beating them a lot. Well, I think, I think we're just warming up. We're just warming up. I mean, we didn't even have a lot of good opportunities in this match, like, to be honest. Ugh. I mean, we had that one where we had to go around the defender, but Fonseca, for some reason, was not fast enough. I don't know why the hell he's not fast enough. I mean, he's, he's supposed to be fast enough. We do get the manager award. Loan of Afriantin. Um, I don't know why it's always a loan to fucking buy. I'm, I'm not interested in this at all. Like, just loan them out, and I, I, I will decide if I want to sell them or not. You can be even better. I mean, I didn't read what was there but whatever i want more from you okay so the cantilla playing that match or was that or was that stewart yeah it was stewart that played in the previous match all right so next up we have this match against um this team i'm not playing the match i'm simulating it so sorry hopefully we do come out with the win oh i'm already here <laughs> skip the skip the press conference and then where's the sim all right so let's see what we can do here we should be able to win it all right so we do fonteca gets a a brace and then Foden gets the first goal to get us the win there so we're going to the finals of the super cup with that we're, if we win the finals we're going to have the super cup the ufa super cup and then the um what you call it the uh the, the spanish super cup as well but um i don't know when that, that match is going to be so i'm just going to seem to the 31st it might pop up pretty soon oh that was close <laughs> that was close but well, we are here though let's let, let, let's go back and see if we we are missing any oh shit the 13th has already passed holy fuck can't believe i forgot that but sure am i am i probably still be there um short-term loan for yantin okay then another one for Two of that for Peters. All right, so I'm just going to delegate all of them. I don't know how I don't know how a one year loan is going to work. Is this like he's going to come back like January next year? I'm not I'm not sure though, but I'll just do a short loan for this one. So how 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 far have we gone from the 13th? We, we probably have gone really 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 fucking far um we are as we are on this we are the 17th so not a lot could have possibly passed yes it has it has passed i missed it the first team of the year now so i didn't particularly miss it all right so we have 
Van Dre, we have Zaracho, we have Bro. Like legit only one player is not in our team on this list. And that is Valverde from Liverpool. Which makes you want to buy him, but nah. <laughs> but Van Dre, Zaracho, Gvardio, Helvig, and Stewart. Those are the back four. Van Dre is the keeper, obviously, from our team. And then we have um Cohetes. Sorry, we have um Schmidt and Pedri. Schmidt, Pedri and Kallenberg for for the defend for the midfield and then Fonseca and German for the forwards. That is that is insane. I'm really I'm really happy that we're able to do that. So every single one of our you know every single one, but like the 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 entire player of the year was dominated by by our team. I mean it was literally only one away from an ace in that. So um Santi Bustos apologies. What is he even saying? Okay, so I mean isn't still like don't you already see it on the stuff when you don't play? Like obviously I'm not going to pick you. I know. I mean, they, I mean, don't they see it's like when the manager puts out the thing? I mean, obviously you should know. So what the fuck is he saying? All right, but none of that. We are going up against Atletico Madrid now. Playable highlights for the Super Copa. If we win this, it's going to be the second trophy that we are winning in this in this season, and I. I really hope that we do win it. I mean, the first match we played in this in this episode, we lost one 0 to Real Madrid. So let's just hope that Atletico Madrid is kind of a lower club in terms of playable highlights right now. So I'll drop in straight into the match, and hopefully we get the better options, we get the most options for attacking. And of course, they start with an attack in the fifth minute. So I mean. We should be able to hold them. We should be able to hold them. Come on. Thank you. All right, our turn. It's not our turn yet. Seventh minute, just two minutes away, and they have a free kick. Why the hell are they like pressing us so bad? Is there like a problem with the tactics or something? Vardio, come on. All right, so. All right, so counter attack. Good, 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 good. I see Foden. Fodi might just be the best option right now if he is actually making a good run. And he is. Fonseca, come on. You can help him out here. You're not helping him out. I don't know why you're not helping him out. But what the hell was that, Fodi? Come on. Come on. Alright, so we lose that opportunity. We're in the second half already and we have a crossing opportunity for ourselves. And are we, are we going to go and cross it though? Alright, so we have Fonseca. I saw I saw German late. I'm seeing this I'm seeing this um passing opportunities really late. Stewart. Okay, that was German. Who's there? Crap. We lost the ball. Alright, so we have one last counter-attack. And Fonseca, come on, you got this down the middle. But then German is also an, a possibility. Hope that was not too much. Please, German. Fucking hell, I probably should have passed. Alright, so we have another attack. 72nd minute. Um, see German immediately. Fonseca. Foden. Oh, crap. We're able to get it to him. Alright, so 96th minute. Free kick for Atletico Madrid. Alright. Uh, we might actually get all the way to penalties here. I'm really hoping that's not the case. I'm looking for a last minute winner right now. Anybody, please. I don't know what the fuck the attackers are doing. Okay, so defended really well. So one opportunity for... Alright. 99 minutes, they have another one. God, the defending is becoming really tensing, to be honest. I mean, we're doing really well. I just want a fucking solo run, to be honest. I just want a fucking solo run. And I'm really hoping that we don't... Oh my god. Alright, that's good from Andre. Counter attack for us. Foden. Fonseca. Foden is the person. Come on. Come on. Control it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? And it has, so a penalty shootout is next. 
why the hell why the hell did he fuck up the control that way? I mean we're looking at four in a fucking 92 rating. Oh my god, this game is so unbelievable. This game is so fucking unbelievable. Jesus. That, that was our chance, and I don't know what the fuck that pass from Fonseca was to, to, to German. Because, I mean, if that pass was just a tad bit better, I'm pretty sure that he would have blasted that into the net, and that would have been the perfect, the perfect start. Come on, I fucking turned that to the left. Thank you, Vandre. Stuart, come on, you got this. Stuart, come on, you got this. I, I, I'm literally sending this thing. I'm, I'm, I'm giving this thing directions, and it's not working. Like it's so, it's so, it's so annoying. It's so fucking annoying, to be honest. All right, German. What do you got for me? What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Why the hell is nothing actually? Why the hell is nothing working? Or at least that one worked. All right, so I'm looking for Vandre to save this. Come on, you got this, Vandre. Vandre, you got this. All right, so Helvig, I don't know how good you are at penalties, but please don't fuck. That's bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. I mean, I know penalties, especially in the game, is all about luck and all. But I swear to God, it was. I mean, we could have won that easily, but for some reason, like I would turn the thing to, like I'll turn the player to shoot right, but he just goes down the middle. I have no idea why the fuck that shit is happening, cause, cause it's really, it's really, really fucking annoying. Like no cap, it's so annoying. Like you all don't even get to. Thanks for all the first team action experiment for me. Blah 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 blah. Get out. Um, that was so annoying. But I mean, it's in the past now. I really don't care that much about it. Obviously, I do. Obviously, I fucking do. But like, <sighs> that was just that was just so annoying. Player of the tournament turned out to be Fonseca. Don't know what the hell he did. Or maybe because he, he got a brace in the last match, so that was a really good um, what do you call it? Match for him and you know made him the player of the tournament. So sorry. Uh, next match we are going to. Okay, so it's probably going to be the second leg of the Chelsea match that I'm going to play. But I just want to sing to the first of this month real quick. So we win against Hetafe, we win against Almeria, and I think that I I have a couple of transfers or rather loan offers that I'm supposed to accept too. So, I'll just stop here real quick and then check those out. Um, where are you guys at? Lozano departure, Lozano approach made. I just wanted to know that German Lozano's deal. Okay, f <laughs> I legit thought that that was um like when I saw German, I thought that was my German, like, like the main German in our team, and I, I almost shot myself just now. I was like, what the fuck? Um, offer for. Florian Vitz for El Elgif Elmas reject straight up. Reject um Tomiasu's offer as well. And then this one for Peter, I'm going to accept. And I think there's others. So I'll accept both of them. And whichever one you want to go to, my you're free. So I need more games, Gaffa. Why is that here out of order? I did not mean to oh, I did not say that. You're still in the squad. Alright, so he needs more games. I will put him in the starting eleven now. Uh, I think I think um, I really can't do much because he's an 88 rating and uh, the game automatically plays the guys that are higher like most of the time not all the time though but like most of the time and I just hope that he's able to get 
a, a, a good amount of game time. So, seeming to be first. So, let's hope we get the win against this team. I mean, this might just be our, our Copa del Rey run. Hopefully. So, we are winning that one against that team. I think that should be Real Zaragoza. I'm not sure. But it might be them. And then, let's see if we win against Valencia. I'm hoping we do. Yes, we do. 3-0. A really good win. And now, we have a match against Espanyol. I'm going to simulate that. Right after I, I check out um, the monthly scouting reports for spain what do we have here nothing nothing here as well i mean that guy was fairly good but none of them are really catching my fancy so argentina here we go still no one i mean we got someone really good from spain the last time i didn't even check him out after but no one is looking like i mean what the fuck are they supposed to be this bad i mean the scouts can't they like get better people or something i mean i really want someone from nigeria i don't know why the fuck what the hell this guy's overall is 20 to 30 years. how can you be that fucking bad that's crazy all right still i still haven't gotten anybody all right so i think it's two more months uh kai bandre release close mets Okay, thank God, thank God, I, thank God that happened, thank God that happened, what the fuck? Alright, alright, that was fucking scary, and let's just go to Rachel. Alright, I'm just going to get, get that release clause to fuck out of here. I think, I think he should be good. Alright, so no release clause. Thank you. That was, that was scary. That was really scary. Fonteca has a release clause as well, so does, um... Alright, so I'm just going to increase the release clause. Give him more time in the team. And then, who else has a release clause? Zaracho. Alright, so I'm going to just leave him with that. Alright, so um, for the guys that are... Okay, they're a fucking lot. <laughs> anyway, I'll do this and I'll come back to you guys in a bit. Alright, I am done with that. So we're simming all the way to the Chelsea match. I'm going to simulate this one. And then I will play the, the second leg. Hopefully we do win the first leg though and we are out of the Copa del Rey just like that. Alright, so I think one of the one of these seasons to come, I might actually just focus all of my playing on the Copa del Rey. Just that, so that I would win the, the trophy. Because I, I don't know, I mean, there goes our treble. I mean, there's no way we're winning the treble anymore, like the domestic treble with that. Because, I mean, we've lost Super Copa, so it's just the... Um, Champions League and the La Liga to go in right now. We just lost to that team as well. Um, Real Sociedad. Don't know what the fuck is happening to my team. We're losing like crazy. Have no fucking idea why. Uh, we draw against that team. Real Valladolid, Valladolid, however it's pronounced, I don't know. But now we have Real Betis. Please, can we like redeem ourselves? Although we're away from home. No, we can't. We draw yet again and we are now at the Chelsea match. I don't know what the fuck this month is. Month of February has just been the worst fucking month. And we, we, we draw on Valentine's Day at that as well. So, okay, what do we have? Have a bunch of the, these things. Bunch of Lunofas. Flores contract situation. We are still on top. I mean, the fact that we were drawing back to back just now did not help us at all. But let's hope that we do win this match against Chelsea. We are home. So, I mean, this should be a match that we should be able to win easily so um I, i'm just hoping that's the case we do 5-2 i mean i would have wanted to play the next leg but i mean with this i'm definitely not playing it anymore so um kallenberg helvig zaracho aligra german scored two goals that's good sterling and i don't know who that is david scored for chelsea um all right so that was a good a, a good first leg so i mean i don't have to worry about I mean, they can still beat us 3-0 in their home, but I really doubt that is possible with my team. So, we have the Barcelona match here. I will play this. Okay, so, I will play the Barcelona match and I will play the um, um, Villarreal match that is there right now. And then I will simulate the um, Chelsea away fixture again. I mean, because... Why the hell should I play it? Because, I mean, there's really no point in playing it because they're not going to beat me more than three goals. Like, deaths. <laughs> so, I'm um, learning offer for Creepers. Alright. 
two year loan. Yeah, just I'm okay with you being gone for that long. One year loan for you, and then for you, Fernando Martinez. You are 21, you are okay. So I think a two year loan, okay, there's no two year loan, so one year loan would be good for you. So monthly scout, oh, we're already in a new month, that's true. So Spain, do you have anything for me? I'm really hoping that there's someone from Nigeria this time around, to be honest. If not, I will have to just get the the the, the best in the in everything they give me. I will just have to go for the best of all the players there. Um, I mean, nah. I don't think Argentina has anything for me. I'm just hoping that Nigeria has something. Really, really fucking hoping Nigeria has something. I mean, this guy's over um, potential is pretty good. His overall might just be like in fifty, in fifty, in, in the fifties. And then this, oh, okay. So this guy might just be in the sixties. Hopefully, he is. He's not up to like a million, so he's most likely not in the sixties. But I, I will get these two guys. Can't, I can't remember their names anymore. But, uh, all right. Martinez Lunar Fire, blah blah blah. Let's look at that. Do we? Oh, I already, I already did all this. So, to the Youth Academy, real quick, before we go into the match that we're supposed to to play. Where is that? Um, Alright, there you go. Um, where are the Nigerians that just got? Alright, so one of them was actually a 60. Yeah, um, Joseph Ibrahim was a 60. That's good for him. I think I will do a development schedule for, for him though. You're a center back, so I guess I'll go for sweeper for now. And then Dili Mohammed. Um you're 57, you're you're pretty okay. You're 15 at that. So I'm, I'm I like the fact that they are young, which means like and before they're 17, they might actually grow a little bit in the in the squad. A tiny little bit though. Um, when this guy is 60, I probably will get him out of the youth academy so I can send him out on loan or something. The striker, so I'll do complete striker for him. And yeah, I'm favoring the Nigerians, obviously, I'm doing that. <laughs> well, okay, this guy is 16, 68. I mean, I would want to bring him out to the team. You know what? I'm just going to do that. I mean, he's, he's already good enough. And then this guy, these guys that are 17, they are. I didn't look at that guy's rating just now, but this guy from Brazil, Bruno Teixeira, I mean, he's he's looking like he's going to be one beast of a player later in this series. We're, we're just in the fifth season, so like five more seasons, he should be able to like grow to something that I'm not expecting at all. Then, uh, or rather, I'm expecting it, but hopefully he should, he should reach my, my expectations of him. Then this guy, Gregorio Navario, you are 17. They're coming to the club and these two guys that are 17 I mean your potentials are okay. That is why I'm leaving you in the team. Oh, this guy is 17. Okay. That's crazy uh, Well, okay <laughs> um, Where are the guys that are supposed to put them on loan? Squad hub Should be the young Really really young guys. All right, so you yeah I, I just brought you out and then you as well and you yeah so this is a guy that has really really good potential i am rooting for him to actually be the next um pedri or florian vert in our team or cut or be the next kallenberg one of those three all right so barcelona match in a bit let's look at the formation real quick change their jersey to their home to their home jersey well, I think this one might do let's just give them their home jersey all right so um Pedro you're going up against your old team should I play him hmm. I will play Stuart Cantillo has had a couple of games um Rise for Foden and James for Schmidt for Schmidt. Uh, okay, so who is on the bench exactly? Should I give one of these guys a chance? I mean that might be that might be interesting. 
So I think I, I think I'll I would um no nah, <laughs> let's not let's not do that this much. <laughs> All right, so um playable highlights. We're doing the full highlights, and well, we have one none. We've actually won none of the highlights we've done so far this season. So this might be a good chance to um uh change that and we haven't played in our, in our in our in our stadium this episode at all yet the one against real madrid we played that in their stadium then the finals of the super Bowl, we played that in the stadium i have no idea what the fuck it was but i think i think we might be doing for a stadium change for next season though but we're going up against barcelona we are on the defensive for the first scenario here and I mean, I'm, I'm really not bothered about the defense, to be honest, because our defense is... Like, look at that. I mean, he covered Vardio straight up. Like, no no time to waste time. He just, like, covered him immediately. That was our two. Um, Alright, so... Alright, Zaracho, come on, you can do this again. Good job. James... Bradley was out of position, but oh uh, crap, that was that was a big mistake. And Bradley was able to help me out there. Okay, this is not good. Thank you. And we have a corner. Of course, we have a fucking corner. All right, who's coming? Really, Fonseca. Oh, that was a really good header. But now we have a solo run for German. I'm, I'm scared that he will not get this. Cause I mean, German is known for missing all of these chances a lot. But not this one, though. I was able to calm down and put him and put the ball in the back of the net easily, easily, and that is. His first goal of this episode that I'm scoring, by the way. That's the first goal I'm scoring in this episode, like, in general. That's, that's fucking crazy. Alright, so, counter-attack. I see Rise. Are you going to run? Fonteca, you're making a fairly weird run. And this does not get all the way to German. It did get inter inter intercepted. So, I mean, we do win the match either way. So, oops, sorry about that. Um, sorry about that again. <laughs> but we do win the match though, so. If I'm not wrong, I think they were second in the league. If I'm not wrong, by the way. But, alright, so that was a good match from Fonteca. He, he, he gave the assist, right? No, he did not. Well, the solo run for, for German to no one gave the assist because I mean it just happened to be like that. We are five points away from Atletico Madrid. That is good to see. And um we can be even better. Thanks, boss. I think alone, blah blah blah. Alright. So what the fuck? Why is not why is nothing happening? Alright, there you go. Do do do. Alright, so the Chelsea oh shit, we have this match next. And we even have a, a bunch of loan offers that that came in. So I, I would just like same through the dates normally in case we do get anything before the valencia match yes we do rodriguez loan offer so i think it should be one of the new guys yeah the new guys that just came in so two-year loan i want them going for a long time so they will have like a lot of experience so, um fc dollars accepted for two years for for coopers and then one year for fernando martinez going to psv that's if the offer does go through so Alright, so I think we're good. We should be good with that. And now we have the match against Villarreal. Is there going to be anything before that? Yes. Cooper loan rejected. That is not good. Martins accepted for um, one year. Why the fuck did he reject this one now? What the hell? Why did he reject it? Is it, is it him that rejected it? Uh, hmm. They didn't tell me why. But okay. So we have the Villarreal match. In a bit but let's just work on this loan offer i hope this one goes through this guy is i don't know why i like him so much 
because I haven't seen him play at all. Maybe because um, he's just really young and really um, well rated. He's 68 at 17. That's interesting. So, and by the time he's 20, I mean, he's going for a two year loan now. So, by the time he's 19, he should probably be like it's in high in the high 70s, something like that. Sorry about that. All right. So, now we can focus on the Villarreal match. <sighs> we beat them last episode right yeah we did so i'm expecting us to do the same this time around their team is actually not bad but i feel like i mean, I mean our team is better like on paper so we should be able to get more of more of the attacks and better ones at that so i really hope that that is the case because i mean this game can be fucking stupid sometimes and they, they, they do get the first opportunity so i guess we're going to have to be defending I mean, we've been defending way more than we've been attacking in this in this episode. I don't like that. I mean, we're having way more defensive scenarios than attacking scenarios. So, all right. So this one, this one might be good. Let's see where Fonteca ends up. Foden might just be able to get this to him. That did not just happen. What? Why did he take so much time to to, to pass? But anyway, this is a good opportunity. For Fonseca and for Foden. Well, I think I'm going to give Fonseca, obviously, if nothing. This game is unbelievable. This game is fucking unbelievable. I cannot believe that shit just happened. What the hell? I obviously gave Fonseca there. I obviously gave Fonseca there. I mean, with the fact that he even took a lot of time before he even made the pass, and then he now passed to the completely wrong person, is just beyond me, to be honest. I don't like this one bit. I don't fucking like this one bit. Like, at all. Alright, to Schmidt, to... Solo run for German. Could you actually get this right? No, you do not. I mean, it threw, it threw ball would have been better. We're not doing really well in the playable highlights, to be honest. I mean, I probably could have just gone by myself with German. They're using Fonteca as a good. Uh, why is why are, why is it that the two short guys are in the fucking? All right, that was. What the hell did Fonteca do there? I, I swear to God, the game does not want me to win. I swear to God, like legit, the game does not want me to win. All right, we have Guardio and. All right, we have one more opportunity here. One more, and we have Fonseca. Anybody helping us out? No, we're just going to go around ourselves. Thank you, Fonseca. Thank you so much, Fonseca. And finally, we, we get the goal, and we get the win. There's no way they're going to score now because it's not. It's not the attack. It's, it's not the attack only highlights where they will just magically get two goals after this. So I think we should be good here. One nil win. Yet another one nil win. Thanks for all the first team chances I've been getting. Yeah, no problem. I was I was disappointed you left me out, but I know you are in charge, but I feel 100 percent ready to play. I have to rotate the squad, bro. I am not even the best fucking player in that position. So I mean, obviously I'm not going to I'm I'm hardly ever going to start you, to be honest, but I will start you in this match just so that you'll be happy. So, uh, I think I'll give Tallenberg and I'll give Rissi a chance. I'll give Tommy as well, as well. Zach Steffen as well. We don't have a center back. No, we do not. Korea. Uh, Alright, I'll just do that. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just risk, risk that. So, um, 5-2 on aggregates is going to be more. 1-1 one, one, we scored. Korea scored. So it was a good thing we put him in. Tommy has to go a red card, so he'll be missing the next match. That's sad. But we do win the match 6-3 on aggregate. So we are through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. I'm actually saving my first um full match for the Champions League um semi-finals, probably. Hopefully we can get there. So red okay, we have a couple messages here. Martinez loan. Martinez has agreed to go to that team. Alright, so that's good for him. 
yeah i can't i can't exactly just sim through everything right now because um of the many loan offers that are i'm just going to sim that real quick so fernando martinez gone to psv so i will be expecting good things from you by the time you come back hopefully i even remember what your rating was by the time you when you come back so all right so i think he's he's loaned out take zero loan agreement all right so that's good two years to river plate have no idea where river plate is but I, river plate river plate i want him to go to like an okay team but i guess he might be able to do good in river plate i mean he's 68 so he might get a lot of first team action there sorry boss but i've got to say i need you to stay fit i mean i, sh I should blast that guy because i'm beginning to not like him to be honest i mean what the fuck is that that pride you are 93 rated and so fonteca is two and then i don't start fonteca in every game but you don't see him bitching about it do you do you no you don't all right so merton's loan i saw that real quick on the top right there so yeah, damn he's ugly <laughs> damn he's ugly but whatever stan Mer stan martins it's actually martins not merton's to um whatever team that was that he went to can't remember so real quick i'll just sim a little bit further all right and that is him going out of the squad going out of the team i mean he's not getting um released from the club he's just, he's just getting loaned out. i don't know why the fuck they keep on doing that cutting so so crazy i mean he's going to be gone for two years so i guess i, I guess it's okay to be sad especially because he's going to miss me a lot and well <laughs> anyways we have what the fuck am i doing yeah we have monaco next so i am going to simulate to this match hopefully we do get the win in the first leg i don't know if we're home or away but after we get there we will have um, um squad action to do oh, we're actually in march so we're in april now so one month to go till the end of this season 4-1 that's a really good win against espanol we draw against against them the first leg crap so we're going to have to play the second leg and we are going to have to win it at that too they want to to us asuna i mean i don't know how good this monaco team is but they should be relatively good like really really fucking good eight messages wow that's a lot creepers offer a drone youth player oh shit nacho salazar sorry i didn't see that monthly scout report for these guys creepers don't offer again blah 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 all right let's look at the youth players 500 no nope i mean so disappointing every single fucking time so disappointing every single bloody time to be honest i mean why are you even bringing players like this to my team um guys i i guess their judgment has to be shit i mean once we're done i'm going to sack those two guys that are not five star and i'm not going to buy to 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 hire anyone else until i see someone that's all five stars i'm talking about the these the scouts and the last one for nigeria anyone i mean i already got two guys from nigeria so i'm really not that much interested what the fuck is that hairstyle bro <laughs> um nah no one no one at all so i mean i, I guess it's one more month before we're um done with the or is that the end could that have been the end i doubt oh, yeah, so yeah just one more month for them before they come back returning on the first of may yeah so it's one more month for them to, to come back so yeah the match against monaco here we go let's change the key real quick i don't think i'm going to be changing the um the team as well i mean cancel is playing yeah yeah he is playing and i want to i i want to put james in there as well then give him that captain role and we should be good all right so we're jumping into the match now it's going to be so bloody tough i wonder who we are going to face in the semi-finals there might be a really tough team i haven't even looked at the, the thing since we entered into the round of 16. the um teams that are in in the competition still but i'm pretty sure it's going to be a big team I and mean, we faced chelsea in the round of 16 that was a big team so AS Monaco should be a big team, but like they're not particularly a big, big team like Chelsea and you know, our team. So uh, this might this this might be a walk in the park. It might also be a disaster. 
we are the current holders of the Champions League, so I'm really hoping that we we do retain the title. All right, so Foding, what do you got for me? Thank you, Vitz. Thank you. No one is helping him out. And why did he not do the skill? Why did he not fucking do the skill? I swear to God, this game is actually doing this shit on purpose. I swear to God, this game is legit doing this shit on purpose. Makes no fucking sense, but that's what we have, we have to deal with. That's what we have to fucking deal with here. Thank you, Helvig. Alright, so it's solo run for Fonseca. Let's see what we can do here. What the fuck? I, I swear to God, I did not press the pass. I did not press the pass button at all. I was just waiting for him to to get the ball so I can make my move. But apparently the game had other options for me, had other other ideas. Might be good. Alright, so we have a relatively okay, so I, I, I'll just give Helvik here. And then I'll give it back to Cancelo. Alright, so what does Cancelo have for me? To Fonseca. Alright, that was that was good, but the header just wasn't all that. So we have a good You know what I want to do? I want to do something really, really fucking crazy. I'll bring Fonseca in. I should be able to do this. I should be able to do this. I should. Let's just get here to be what the hell is that guy doing there? And let's see if this will work. It doesn't. I'm pretty sure that was really close, but they didn't let me see what happened there. So we have one more chance. One more chance for a goal. And oh, this is interesting. We have Rise. Korea at that. We're going to penalties again. We're going to fucking penalties again. I mean, there's no way. There's. I mean, the, the match is going to even end before they they do anything. I hate this game so much. I hate. It. I swear to God, if I lose this game. It's, it's really stupid if you think about it, because, I mean, I, I fucked up that last chance, obviously. I really did, but... Fonteca is not even in the game anymore, and everybody else's penalty stats are not all that. So it's, it's, it's up to the keeper. Alright, so good save. Good save to start. Rise. Thank you. Keeper, come on, once again, can you do this? No, you cannot. But we have... Come on. Thank you. Alright, your turn. Thank you, thank you, thank you. German. German, is your turn. Do not, fuck, do not fuck this up. Thank you. Down the middle. Working every single fucking time. If we are able to save this, I mean, if we don't save it, I don't think. And he actually did save it. He actually did save it. <laughs> yeah, so we do. We are we're through to the semi-finals. That was a really good, really good work from from Bandre. He actually got um two out of three out of four, three out of four. That was that was really good. All right, so our next match we're going up against Atletico Madrid. Three times in a row. <laughs> that was so fucking crazy. So I'm going to simulate this one. I'll play the playable highlight of this one and then I will play the full match of this one before we go to the finals of the UEFA Champions League for the second time in a row. I mean, that is hoping that we do win the, sec the semi finals though. So, Barry Balicano, we win it 1 0. Athletic Bilbao, Athletic Club, whatever. Come on. Come on boys, yeah, 2-1 win to them, and then we are now here in the match against Let's Go Madrid. 10.6 million for tournament prize money. Does that actually get added to our budget or that's still or is that till next next season? 
Where the fuck am I? It doesn't. It's actually till next season, so. Alright. We're simulating this. We're not making any changes to the team. We should be able to get the win here. Easy peasy. Nope, we do not. Fonseca misses the penalty that cost us a lot. So, I mean, we definitely have to win that, that next match. And I think we're going to their stadium, so that's, that, that's fucked up. Yes, an away match. Well, this one is going to be a home match. And I... Hmm. We're bringing James. And then... Yeah, I have to make him the captain. Oops, obviously. Who else am I bringing? Rise? No, Kallenberg. Yes. Alright, that's good. I think there's one of the youth players that did not get sold. Oh, they're also here. Oh, shit. I, I mean, they already did the, the, the cutscene of them leaving the club and they're actually still here. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be next season that they'll go out on our loan, so I don't know what the fuck FIFA is doing. But we are going up against Atletico Madrid for the second time. I, I, I'm we're playing them for the second time in this um in this episode, and we're going to play them four times. Or rather, we're going to play them three times out of four that we out, out of the four matches we had against them. That's that's interesting. So it's basically a ZM headed versus a, a little Madrid episode. We lost the first one, we drew the second one. This is the third one. I mean, I wish it was it was five matches so we know who's actually the better. But I mean, if we win this one, I wouldn't take on one, then we'll, be, we'll obviously be the better team. So let's hope that we do win this one. They can't win us twice in a row, though. And I really hope this doesn't go into penalties because that, that, that has been the case lately. And I really don't fucking like that one bit at all. Alright, so Cancelo to Pedri. Pedri to who? To Foden. And he gets taken off from his feet. All right, who is who is on him? James. Good work to block the pass there. Good from Cancelo, and we have a penalty. That's that's great. Fucking great! This is our chance to go one 0 up. Hopefully, Fonteca does not screw us over. His shot power is fucking crazy, and thank you. I mean, even if the keeper, even if the keeper, um, even if the keeper got that, I doubt that um, he would have gotten the, the ball. So if he got the direction right, I really doubt that he would have gotten the ball. So that is the gritty from Fonseca. We have a really um, interesting free kick to defend here. I mean, this might be good for them, but we, I mean, our defense is known for its tenacity, so we should be able to deal with this fairly easily. And of course, we do. And Foden is in. For a counter attack, doesn't quite work out the way I planned. But I see German is going to be outside in a bit here. But I'm I'm going to give it to Foden. Thank you, Fonseca. What the hell are you doing? Fonseca, what the fuck are you doing? I was so close. I was so close to nil. But I mean we do still win the match, so we are we are oh this is this is La Liga, sorry. All right, so this this might be tough. It might not be tough. Should I play the the second leg though? I mean, I I will play it. Yeah, I I would play it. So, um, one highlights from Fonseca alone. I mean, I really wish that German scored that last goal. Though. That would have been really interesting. But we have. A really tough match coming up next but what do we have on this manager of the war of the month award yet again all right so this is the last of the um okay this guy is crazy pedro campos that's interesting this is the last of the of the youth square academy so i'm really happy that spin was able to give me someone really good right at the end there and we do not get anyone else from spain but let's look at argentina are you guys going to fuck yourselves up most likely um i mean all right i'll just go for you i'll, I'll just go for you i mean you're definitely 58 but your overall was, so your your potential was really good and okay so this is the guy from i mean if i had just waited this guy 
was there already so i mean that's one good person from argentina so nigeria you guys have not given me anybody that is worth over a million so come on what do you guys have for me what do you guys have for me do not do not do not um fuck this up i mean i mean nigeria they're most likely going to fuck it up it's nigeria we're talking about whoa what the fuck are they me ali Oh my fucking god. And it's actually the best of the best that, that we're able to come up with. That is insane. That is fucking insane. That we're able to pull that out of the bag at the last fucking minute. Let's let's look at him though. Damn. Where's he at? 66 at 16. I don't like his hair though. But he's a left winger. He can play right mid as well. Let me do a, a um, white playmaker for him. I guess that will be okay for now. And then for Campos, you're a right mid and left winger um, white playmaker. Or, okay, I'll, I'll just do the inverted. Then, huh. Roberto Cortez. Advanced playmaker. I think that's it. That's it. Probably. I got someone from Argentina just now that I wasn't supposed to get. This guy. Yeah. He's trying out to be 59. Alfonso Jada. So I will keep him. His potential is relatively okay. So let me do a, a quick um, development schedule for him. Stopper. Yes. Thank you. And alright. So you are the worst in the team right now, but your overall, your this thing rather, is really good. So I'm hoping you get to a 60 by the end of two years. So, um,. Who is that? Who is messaging me right now? Thanks for putting me back in the lineup. I want more from you. I mean, he's going to start this match against Atletico Madrid, though. The long that I have played with him, to be honest, Vardio is low on on, on stamina on, on health. I don't know why that's the case, but this is the match for every fucking thing right now. Gregorio Navario. Yeah, this is also a guy that I brought. I brought in. Can I do two years? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can. So. All right, wait. Let's look at what Dest is right now. He's 85, 26. Harlan is a 94. Blahovic is a 91. Alfonso Davies is an 89. Hmm. Lafonte is a 95. All right. So, not going for any of them. Probably my go for. Nah, nah. My my team is really really good right now. So I don't think I'm ever going to get anyone else. I don't think I'm buying anyone next season unless, you know, I get a really, really irreplaceable offer. A really un, un, unavoidable offer for a player. I don't know, I don't know the English, to be honest. But uh, let's start this. Kallenberg. Mm, I think I'll start Schmidt. Oh, no, let me start um, James. Give that to Helbig. Vardio, okay, Korea. All right, I think I think we are good. We are good. All right, we are at the Wanda Metropolitano, a really really crazy ass stadium, and we're going to be playing the semi-finals of the Champions League here against a really good Atletico Madrid side. We beat them last match. We drew with them previously, and then we lost to them in the first match that we played against each other this season. So. That team is going to be really, really tough. I'm hoping that we'll be able to like overcome them. Forgot my camera was off, but we have a really good chance to win this match. I mean, we are in semi-finals, and with um, our team should be better than theirs on paper because I mean we have almost an all ninety lineup right now with um um Cantelo and what's his face? What's his face? What the fuck is his face? And Kallenberg, the only two, two um, 89 rated players. So let's go straight into the match right now. And we're going aggressive in this match. I want to get as much goals as I possibly can to start. And thank you. And that was not a very good pass, but we're just lucky enough to have that. And that is a really good start. Foden, can you find him? No, you cannot. Oh, you could. That was, I mean, it was actually like kind of far away from him. But that was a really good start from from the guys there. That's what I'm looking for. I need I need to be really really sharp 
in attack. Really, really fucking sharp. Alright, so the story Pedro was getting the better of that guy, of Goretzka in that. Alright, good from Zaracho. To Cancelo, back to Helvig, back to Cancelo. And he loses the ball in a very, very weird ass position. Helvig does save his ass. And back to Cancelo. What was that pass? Is that supposed to be old age or something? Come on, Cancelo, come on. I'm giving you one last chance. Alright, that was insane. And thank you. Thank you so much for that, German. That was an insane pass. And Fonseca, that was really good finishing, obviously. I mean, he finishes on 98 or 99. So, I mean, from there, he was not going to miss. He was not going to fucking miss from there. Never, ever. I mean, the, the angle was really tight. But, I mean, we're looking at Fonseca right now. I mean, man is not going to miss from there. Even with his breaker for that, that is... That is insane. So we have our first goal. I just forgot that Let's Go Madrid is the team that we are actually always doing so well. What the fuck? I swear to God, this controller is moving on zone. I swear to God, it's actually moving on zone. Alright, so Helvig, what do you got for me? Yeah, the controller is moving on zone. That is just the most irritating goal that I've ever considered in my life, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to watch it because it was just fucking stupid. My controller was moving the players in different, different fucking directions. And it's still, it's still doing it right now. Alright, can you guys like make really good passes? Thank you. Thank you, um, Zaracho. Back to you, and that doesn't work out. All right, so the passes could be way better. I think we have the better of, of possession, if I'm not wrong. All right, so I probably could have held that like. Probably could have taken a touch, but then I wasn't really sure if the defender was going to like crowd him immediately. But I mean, the header was good. Let's go back to the fights that we had at the beginning of the match. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. F oh. Alright, so offside either way, so um Alright, so the fight is kind of coming back a little bit. Feistiness. Alright, so that that pass was Oh It was premature, but we're able What the hell was that? I have no idea what the hell is going on. Alright, so we, we have the ball. Mm. Power shots are so fucking unpredictable. Okay, Rado is injured there, but I feel like I'm really hoping that he's okay. Please tell me that he's going to be okay. Alright, so if he's not okay by halftime, I'm going to have to take him off. And that would be so sad because if that's the case, he's definitely, definitely going to miss. Um, Alright. Thank you. Good goal. Good fucking goal from Pedri. Good work from the team to be able to get that opportunity to him in the first place. So, I mean, Zarcho did really well on the wings there. I mean, he's proven to be a really, really good player, to be honest. Because I mean, if, if, if you guys have forgotten, at the beginning of the series, he was actually the slowest player to um, progress. Like, his overall was taking a long ass time to grow. And, I mean, look at him now. Look at him now. Man's already like on a 90. That is crazy, and he's doing really well at that. Really fucking well. Alright, so that didn't work out. I actually wanted to give it to German, but wasn't able to. Alright, Foden needed to be really a lot quicker there. 
Thank you. Fonseca. Uh, what the hell is Foden doing? Like, he's not even trying to, like... You know what? I, I, I'm going to have to, like, take him out. I mean, I like him or no, but, like, I'm, I'm just going to have to take him out in, 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 in the second half. So I'm going to give Rita that chance. I hate the fact that the hair texture actually goes away once um you once they come on as a sub. Kind of annoying, but whatever. All right, so we actually had a lot of possession there. It was 60, 30, if I'm not wrong. And yeah, his speed is still insane. His speed is still fucking insane. And just like that, just like that, he's able to do what Fodi was not able to do. Damn, I mean, I mean, it's, it's making me think that there's no way I would sell this guy. Because he's the only one in the team that I might actually be willing to sell. Okay, and Schmidt. So. Alright, good defense. Alright, so. Thank you, Vandri. That was a really good save from him. But. All right. Just means that Rise is the one that is. Can I get this to him? Fuck, that's already offside. Crap. That pass was really mad from from Kallenberg there. I forgot how good he is at passing. What? I swear to God, there's actually a bit of delay with the um, inputs and the blah blah blah. Oh, that was that was too early. I mean, ah. but we still have a chance. What? I mean, I want them to do something completely different from what he did there. Crowd them. Thank you. Oh, that was a good pass from 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 Kallenberg. I hope he still does get the assist because that that pass was mad. That pass was fucking mad. But yeah, I forgot that you know, I mean this is pretty normal for us to beat Alex Comadid by this much. But that pass, that pass was mad. I really hope he does get the assist. I really hope he do, which, uh, does he get the assist though. Can I see here? All right, um, assists. Yeah, he does get the assist. All right, so I mean, unless he got it for for two other occasions, I'm not really sure. But I mean, he should be, he should get the assist, even though like the first shot was blocked. But I mean, he should still get the assist. So that is that was a really good a really good pass from him. And just literally a, li a couple of seconds after I'm I'm talking about his passing being unbelievably good. Oh my God! What the hell is happening? Jesus. These defenders are crazy. That is insane. Even though, even though they kind of go for what the hell am I doing? What the hell am I doing? Zawachu, thank you. What the hell was I doing there? What the fuck? <sighs> All right, we can save this and probably get ourselves one more goal. Two German, no, but you could still go all the way out. We say you are the one. Ah, fucking hell! And why are you even? Okay, that's that's relatively good. You should not miss this. Definitely not. Definitely not ever going to miss that in his life. I was actually pretty lucky. I was actually going for for German. Thank God, thank God that I didn't get to him because it was already offside. It was actually really bad defending from them though. I was bringing Schmidt at the last second for James. I really lost my touch with that guy to be honest. I used to really like him before, but now he's just he has another player on the team that uh, isn't really performing as well as I would like him to. Oops, that was that was close. Could we still get another goal? Could Fonseca get a hat trick? Definitely not with that kind of shit happening. 
slow would be a red card though, so let's just skip it. And yeah, I'll just try and get this to German or somebody. Kalimic actually got ahead of us. That's that's insane. <laughs> that's insane. What was that? German was not expecting that. Even I wasn't expecting that. Alright, so we're going to the finals of the Champions League for the second season in a row. And I'm really curious to see who we're going to play. I'm keeping this thing like a, a surprise for myself. So, I mean, after after this, I would we would all see who... Yeah, that pass from German was spot on. It was crazy. But anyways, we will all see who our, our opponent is going to be in a bit. It's Liverpool. So Liverpool do win them 2 on aggregate. You know that or they haven't played the match yet. I think they haven't played the match yet. Probably. Probably haven't. I mean, but we will see whether it's Inter Milan. Who did you even play against last season? I can't remember at all. Really can't remember. It wasn't AC Milan. AC Milan is one that beat us. Then I think it was it might have been Inter Milan we played. But I can't remember. There's no, there's no point there's no point trying to remember. But um I mean, we would see in a bit who we're playing against Liverpool. Yeah, it is Liverpool, so I'm seeming straight to that match. And the Premier League is already in the bag, obviously. I think it's the longer I look at the table, but we obviously have won the Premier League already. There's no way we're, we're ever going to lose guard that that title. We draw against LG. It might not be a good thing if someone was actually chasing us on our tail. But we win the final match, please. Please. Finger crossed. Yes, we do. 1-0. And... We are now in the Champions League finals in the second time for the second time in Europe. So let's look at the thing real quick. Well, let's see what we have here. Oh shit, Esteban Varela. All right, that is not good. One fifty-three thousand pounds. All right, so yeah, I'll just look at the the, the league table. Um, we actually, we actually, we're really close to 800 points. We go past Real Madrid by 11 points. Barcelona and Atletico Madrid are the other two teams that make it to the Champions League for next season. Obviously, that's that's crazy. That is fucking crazy. All right, so we have. All right, so I'm bringing Stewart in for Cancelo in this match. Then obviously I'll play. I'll, I'm playing James over over um, Schmidt because he's doing really really well. I'll make him the captain obviously. And then Kallenberg did really well in the last match, so I think I'm going to do this and then put him there. All right, and then Rise is going to start the match as well. So that is the team we're going with. Um, the finals against Liverpool. It's going to be really tough. They have. Luis Diaz, they have Nunes, they have Rafinha. That could be the Barcelona Rafinha, probably. Then Valverde, Mercado, Bragan Braganza, Munoz, Araujo, Militao, Masrawi, Alisson. Alright, so I know I don't know who Munoz, Mercado and Bragancha are, but they have to be really good players for them to be able to be in the Champions League finals. So we are in the Olympia Stadion and let's get into it. The wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Alright, so it is the Rafinha from Barcelona, and I mean, this team might be tough, but I'm really hoping that we can repeat what we did against Atletico Madrid in the last match. That was a really good victory for us. All 
Alright, so that might that was a really good chance there, but we were unable to do to get it in the back of the net, but I mean we have yet another opportunity. Vardio is coming. Back to him. To James. He does not get to James. Oh, he actually does get affected. The we have that was that was good. That was good. What a goal for Fonseca. What a fucking goal for Fonseca. And we have started the best way I know fucking how to with a goal. That was that was I mean I planned that to happen, but I didn't actually expect him to fucking chip the keeper with a freaking header. That was that that was insane. I mean this guy is finishing his out of this world. Even with his head. It's crazy. So alright, so we have yeah, I want to start as fast as I possibly can. Exactly exactly like how I did it against um Alexco Madrid. So we probably should be able to do that. Especially with this speed demon with us. Alright, so that was not close at all. I mean it was it was it was high but it wasn't wide, so I mean that was a really good opportunity. A really good try from him though. So Come on, come on, guys. We got this. I, I need a lot of possession in this match. A lot of possession in this match. And I feel like our team is capable of doing that. Alright, so that shot was probably not the best idea. Thank you, Helvig. You're doing exactly what you are fucking paid to do. Oh, oh, that was close. That was close. And that was stupid. I, I, I tried to fake shots, but I mean, just went ahead and shot. But, okay. Alright. But Alison is driving me fucking crazy right now, to be honest. Um, all right, Vardio, you, then somebody, please get the head on this. Helvig did really well, so we should be able to do that again. Again, 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 again. Vardio, come on. Back to Verts. Who's there? Helvig, thank you. Perfect. Perfect fucking goal right there. I mean, he was literally unmarked in the box. Literally unmarked in the freaking box. With the amount of players around him, he was actually unmarked. And we are 2 0 up against Liverpool. And. What else do we have? Alright, so they did really well to beat the press. Please, 3-0 before halftime. This just reminds me of the... This is the third Champions League Finals where we're entering Nero. And this reminds me of the first one. But we were on the receiving end of the goals. Our first half. I think we got four... Because they had four goals from AC Milan in the first half. That was, that was bad. But now we're the ones that are dishing that out. To Liverpool of all, of, of all teams. And they're actually a really good team right now. I mean, it's only three players that I don't know about, but the other players have to be on top of their fucking game at this point. Who is this? Look at this Masrawi. Speaking of Masrawi, Morocco actually did really well yesterday. Really, really, really well, to be honest. But I mean, it's just sad that they weren't able to, to get the win. Finally. I mean, but the front side was just too good. I mean... Uh, def defensively they were too good and then in attack they were just very clinical and that got them the win against a very very sad Morocco side I mean but I'm, I'm really happy that Africa was able to finally get to the semi-finals of the um, World Cup that was a really good um, 
achievement for us as a continent. Uh, come on, I hate it when they pass like this. I fucking hate it when they freaking pass like this. Thank you for fucking that up. Fonteca, come on. Get your fucking hat trick. No one is catching you. No way anybody's catching you. No way anybody was catching you. No way the keeper was catching that rocket of a fucking shot. 99 fucking shot power. There's no way the keeper was going to get that. No fucking way at all. How how fast was the shot there? 130.4 miles per hour. Oh, is that kilometers? Wait, what? Okay, that should be kilometers. Can't be can be miles, right? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> well, that was that was a really good goal. So four 0 all that's left for them now is to score two goals and we would um, repeat the exact same scoreline of two years ago. But just that we'll be on the on the winning side. Zarcho come on. That was really good acrobatic save there. And we are we are not done. Definitely not done. Still not done. Actually we're done now. <laughs> Alright. Fonseca does not get to you. Rise. Damn. That was sad that, that we hit on. Um, what's his face? Fonteca there. I, mean, I feel like that was on target if we didn't hit him. That could have been on target. Probably might have hit the bar. I don't know, but. Okay. Fonteca, hat trick. Is that too early? Yeah, that's too early. Back. All right. So, uh, I didn't. I, I didn't know. Um, Callum actually got that ball. That's why I passed again. With um, oh my god, this guy is insane. What the hell? That was a guess and go. That was a fucking guess and go. All the way from there. Right over the keeper. Bro. Legit go of the fucking season. Legit. That has that that has to be the goal of the fucking season. 5-0 against freaking Liverpool in the Champions League finals on ultimate freaking difficulty and we are not fucking done yet. We are not freaking Okay, maybe we are. <laughs> no, we're not done yet. All right. So, um, Foden, obviously, I uh, will bring in no one. I want I want James to be the one to lift it. So, Cancelo, and that's all of the changes that we're going to make. Yeah. So, um, that was an insane goal from Kallenberg just now. Cannot believe he actually went. I, I can't believe he actually went and did that. All right, Rise has a now. Nah, this this third fucking time he gets it deflected, and all right. So the substitutions are coming in now. Let's see if we can get Helvig on this once again. We do get him on it. This corner technique is actually really reliable. It's actually really fucking reliable. Let's try it again. Let's hope that Gradio doesn't get. He actually hits it every single fucking time. Now I miss Donovan. <laughs> Donovan was our our go-to header of the team that that year. Before we blew. <laughs> Alright. So folding. You didn't get past, but we are finally two-year champions of the fucking Champions League. We have done it once again. ZM Coheters have made their way to the finals of, sorry, to the Champions League trophy yet again. And we might just be able to get Real Madrid's record of three. Three Champions Leagues in, in, in three years. We might even pass it, who knows. But I mean, we never know what's going to happen in the future. We might actually just flunk it as well, so. <laughs> and I'm still really happy that we're able to win it. So, that is two trophies this season, three trophies this season. So, we now have eight trophies in total and i'm not going to watch um Badre, sorry um james lift the trophy 
has been was a really good match. Everybody did really well. Zaracho, Kallenberg. Kallenberg's goal. Oh my fucking god. I can't wait to see that shit again. I cannot wait to see that shit again. That that was insane. That goal was mad. Alright, so. Alright, so that is the Champions League trophy in our trophy cabinet yet again and this goal man. This goal that I was not expecting at all. Bruh. <laughs> you don't fucking do shit like that. You don't fucking do shit like that. That goal was insane. That goal was like insane. <laughs> I don't know what to say about the fucking goal man to be honest. Alright, so we absolutely demolished them in this match. Absolutely demolished them. Completely demolished them. 5 0 against Liverpool in the Champions League final. They should just go and tuck their tail between their legs and figure out what the, where the fuck they went wrong. I mean, if they reach the final next season, they're most definitely not going to beat us. But. Alright, so this is, this is the end of the episode. We don't have any other matches. We don't have any other things to attend to. Do we, though? No, we don't. 20 million. For the Champions League um, pot. All right. So yeah, it's been a good, good run. I, from from the start, I just had a feeling that we we're going to be here. The team did really, really well. I don't know why they're not fit the overall. So could it be that um, they just finished the match? That's why. Player contract expiring. I would. I would. I would work on this later on, like off camera, because I mean these guys are really giving me a headache. I know I might actually just release them or let their contracts run out. But uh, yeah, I can't remember what I was saying. Yeah, the fitness it did it did come back up. It was because they were all low on health. But anyways, I'm really happy that we were able to get the win there. So um, this is the end of the episode. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications so you'll be notified of when I drop new videos. I drop videos every day. Sometimes I drop more than one in a day. Not the current mode. The, not, the, not the current mode videos though. But you know, I, I drop others as well. So um, you guys should definitely check those out. And um, yeah. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. So um, I know I just ended the video. But um, I can't believe I actually forgot this. But um... This is what the, the goals look like. Fonseca did get 38 goals. I mean, he still is yet to break that 40 mark. I feel like he would probably do that maybe next season or something. I hope he does the And German got 29 and 15 assists. Foden was second with 9 goals and 10 assists. Kallenberg got 9 goals. And the most amazing thing is that for the first time, a defender has reached the top 5. And we have Helvig, Levi Helvig here with um, 8 freaking goals. No assists though, but I mean most of them, all of them were from corners and um, the most recent one was in this Champions League final, so I'm happy for him, really happy for him and we didn't do that much, probably because um, he's not um, our first team player, a first team player rather, so yeah, anyway that's the end of the video, that's what I wanted to show you guys and oh, before I forget, <laughs> yeah, uh, I also want to see if Fonseca did get the highest highest goal scorer in the league and he did with 25 goals in 38 matches so this is the second time in a row he's getting the golden boots happy for him and also um yeah thank you guys for watching the video like subscribe share comment you know all that stuff and peace